Hi again, here we are to talk about table views. And uh, what I'd like to look at today is how to edit cells in a table view. Specifically, how to remove a cell or delete a cell. So here we are in our, you know, our sample app that we were creating. And, uh, you know, I'll test it once here. So we can see what we have. And it loads up here, and I see a couple items in my list, you know, and I can, you know, swipe on them, but they don't do anything, right? I'm, I'm tapping them, really, and they're going to this other screen, but I can't do the swipe left or right that you're expecting. Um, so, you know, in order to do that, we're going to have to um, activate it, right? So any table view cell can be editable or not be editable. So that way you can create um, cells that act as headings or, you know, are not editable but then cells that you can add and delete um, also in like all in the same in the same table view right so how do we do that well our table view is handled here in view controller so I've got view controller here and uh, you can see there's a, a set of table view data source methods right and so these supply data to the table view they tell the table view how many how many rows are in a section of the table view and then they provide a cell for any particular, you know, row at, at an index path, right? And that that's the cell that goes in there and displays data, right? Our uh, our class here, our view controller, is the UI table view data source. It's also the UI table view delegate. And when you're the delegate for the table view, that's when the um, swipe and editing actions and you know touch events and things like that that's where the table view is going to contact us it's going to contact us through the delegate methods so the the data source pretty much just provides data to the table view for the table view to display the delegate handles events that happen in the table view right so the, the delegates going to handle the events for the table view so um, I'm going to make a new um, area here. I'm going to call this table view delegate methods, right? So this will just be a little, you know, comment with a mark on it to uh, tell me where the table view, you know, uh, delegate methods are. And the first method that I want to use is table view. And the one I want is called can edit row at index path. Okay, so table view can edit row at index path. Okay, so what this method does is it provides the table view an answer to the question, hey, can I edit a row at this index path? And, you know, table view calls us up, calls the delegate, and asks the delegate, hey, you know, can, you, can I edit this row at this index path? And it provides the index path. And then we're going to return a Boolean true yep you can edit the row or false no that row cannot be edited okay so in our case I'm gonna say that all the rows can be edited so uh, I'll just return true right so that's pretty easy otherwise you would include some logic in here to figure out which row could be edited and which row could not be edited and you would return the answer accordingly okay so there we go right so now all rows can be edited and uh, I actually think that this, I'm not sure we'll test it really quick, but I don't think you can do anything yet until we add another method. So let's check this out. So we'll give it a quick test. Yeah, and you can see I still can't edit the rows, okay? I'm swiping to the to the right, and that should reveal the delete option, right? So we need one more method here. So I'm going to type in table view, and the one that I want is this one right here, commit editing style. Okay, so table view commit editing style says, yes, go ahead and, and you know, commit to this particular editing style. And what we do is we, um, we're going to check the editing style, right? It's going to return to a, it's going to provide us an editing style. And then we're going to do whatever we can do with that editing style, you know, or do whatever we need to do with it. So um, I'm going to use this method you know, uh, table view, commit editing style, and it's going to tell me the editing style. And it doesn't return anything. It also gives us the index path, right? So it's actually commit editing style for row at index path, right? And it doesn't return anything. 
So all the editing action has to happen inside this method, okay? And the editing style tells you what the current editing style is. So if it's a delete editing style, then you know you can delete a table view cell. If it's uh, like a move editing style where you can move an item or you know insert where you're adding a new item, then you can do those things too. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, hey, if editing editing style equals, and then I'll say UI table view cell editing style dot delete. Okay, and you can shorten this to to that if you like. So you can just say dot delete if you want. But essentially, delete is a UI table view editing style. Okay, it's one of these editing styles, and that's actually what editing style is, right? It's one of it's one of those types, right? So uh, so what we'll do is we'll say um, you know hey if editing style is the delete style, then let's um, Let's delete this particular row. And for us, all of the rows are in array. So that means we need to remove a row from the array. And actually, I'm, I'm going to leave that out now, and you'll see what happens, right? So what I'll do is I'll say um, table view dot um, delete. So you can just start typing delete. And I want to get to delete rows at index paths. Okay, so notice that that's plural. Delete rows at index paths. So this method will delete multiple rows if you like. And that's significant because you'll, you'll see in a moment. So, so here I am. Delete rows at index paths. So this right here, index paths, is an array of index paths. It's got the square brackets around it. So when we use this one, we got to use the square brackets. And then we have to say which, you know, we have to include an array of index paths. So we have to include each of the index paths that we want to delete, okay? Um, I don't want to delete more than one. I only want to delete a single one. And I need to know which one to delete, right? So this method, table view commit editing style, right? Let me move this down a little bit here, right? Table view commit editing style for row at index path, right? This method receives the index path that we're editing, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this index path right here and just put it inside the array. So that's the index path that we're going to delete. And then it says with row animation, and then there's a special type here similar to the editing style type called UI table view row animation. So I'll just hit return there, and then on the end here you can put a dot and then you can say what type of animation you want to create. So there's a automatic, bottom, fade, left, middle, um, and none, right? I'm going to choose left, and what will happen is the row will slide to the left. And if you choose bottom, it'll go down, right? And if you choose fade, it fades and disappears, right? You can test those out. So we'll just choose left for now, okay? And so here we've said, okay, you know, our table view, whenever it asks the delegate, because this is one of the delegate methods, right? It says like, hey, you know, I'm committing an editing style. This is the editing style right here. It happens to be type UI table view cell editing style, right? And then I want to edit cell for row at index path. And then this is the index path of the, of the row that we're going to apply this editing style to. And so our code is going to say like, hey, you know, if the editing style is delete, then let's say table view, why don't you delete rows at index paths, right? And then here we're going to delete the row at this particular index path, right? And we could have included more index paths here, and we could have deleted multiple rows, and that's why they've included an array here, right? Anyway, so there we go. So we're, we're I think we're in pretty good shape. Let's uh, give that a try now, right? So I'll, I'll test it. And now when I swipe, I get the delete button. And when I hit delete, I get an error, OK? Now, this is expected. I said earlier that we were going to have a problem with this. And if I look at the error message here, this looks pretty you know, crazy right there. Like, wow, what does that mean? Um, I'm going to scroll up to the top here. And you'll see 
somewhere in here, you know, if we follow this through, you'll see terminating app due to uncaught exception. Then it says reason, invalid update, invalid number of rows in section zero. The number of rows contained in an existing section after the update three must be equal to the number of rows or yeah, number of rows contained in that section before the update, right? So, you know, essentially what they're saying here is that um, we deleted a row from our table view. So now we have, you know, if we had four rows, now we would have three rows, right? Because we removed one. But um, number of rows for in section up here is still going to return four rows, right? Because we didn't delete a row from the array. Okay, right? So the array, if, if we change the number of cells in the table view, that doesn't update our data that determines how many rows appear in the table view, right? So if we delete something from the table view here, right, with the delete style, then we also need to delete something from, you know, our data source or wherever the, the, the data is coming from in the table view to make sure that they sync up, okay? So, so let's add that. So right here, before we delete the row at index path, right, what we'll do is we'll say array dot remove at index. Okay, so we're going to remove an item from the array at an index, and then the index that we want to remove is going to be index path dot row. Okay, and remember this is the same way, like, you know, index path dot row in the array is the same way we get the data, you know, for the table view cell, right? To do array at index path dot row, right? So this is where we got the thing. So we know that, that the index path dot row you know, syncs up with each item in the array. We know that they're kind of, you know, aligned on their index. So anyway, let's, uh, let's give it a try now. So I'll hit play. And here we are. So now I'll, I'll try and delete one of these. So I'll swipe to the left, and there I get the delete button. And then when I tap on it, it goes away. And you'll notice it slid to the left because that was our animation. I'll delete the one at the top here too, right? Okay, and there you go. So now we've got uh, kind of a functioning table view. We can delete everybody there. Um, so there you go. And that's, uh, that's how we use, uh, you know, commit editing style or commit row at... Wait, what is this one? Oh, yeah, table view can edit row at index path and table view commit editing style, right? So uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that's useful. And then we'll continue um, this to-do app in the next video. Um, you know, we've got a few more things to talk about, okay? Thanks.